There's one. There's one. Oh, that is a fish. I thought that was a stick. There's one. Work yourself out of there, fish. Surprise catch at the end. What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. Out this morning to do some uh, some morning fishing. You ever wake up later than you planned to go fishing, like a couple hours later? Yeah, me neither. Oh, well, regardless, we've still got cloud cover. Looks nice, like it might start to rain sometime soon. Perfect, and if we have a little bit of wind, it might be spinnerbait weather, but uh, got a plopper tied on. Hopefully we can still catch some of that morning bite, but we're burning light. So enough yapping, let's get stuff and go do the fishing. All right, well at the first spot here, let's try this. This is one of the Whopper ploppers that I painted. That's the KNC bait fish. That's actually my daughter's initials because she picked out the colors. How freaking sweet is that? Thanks, honey. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit of rippling and stuff here. Water is way down, like we are just in drought. Drought, drought everywhere, low water. Oh, come on, tell me there's some fish that wanna hit the old top water plopper. Let's see if Mr. Weedless Chatterbait, this is that cross eyes. Let's see if this draws any attention. This water is pretty clear too. I think I've got a cleaner, cleaner colored spinnerbait I can throw on too. All right, let's see. We're gonna get it out by the wood. cross eyes chatterbait, supposed to be better around wood than the regular. Let's see if we can get through without getting snagged. This is a, a boneyard. We can get through catching a fish. How many times did I come over that top water? Nothing. Looky there. Not a monster? By golly. We got on the board though. Chatterbait, switched over to that weedless chatterbait, huh? Okay feisty little pounder got some energy in him all right brother thanks for eating we appreciate all fish on Debo's fishing the chatterbait huh and that's what that swim on y'all just seen uh not too long ago on an unboxing this is the what do they call it the Debo color I forget what it's called super sexy or something like that <laughs> I don't know anyway I'll leave everything linked below I know that helps a lot of people when I link the gear and lures and line everything that I'm using I appreciate everybody that takes a look at that. I will always leave a link below for you to help out. Yeah, this thing does so much better around wood. And the reason why that is these cross eyes chatter baits uh, that I'm a fan of, glad I checked it, I need to fix my wires, but they have two decently hefty wires on front. And what that allows you to do is run this right over the wood. Normally when you get that hook point caught, wood just kind of rides up over these wires and allows you to pop it free, so. Definitely like this a lot better around wood. Now, can we find any more? Is this gonna be the deal? This this chatterbait around wood, around whatever the heck we can find. Come on, more. oh, I don't know if that was wood or a fish. I felt a good tap right there though. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. You've seen one vid with me using it, but I don't think I've really talked about it a ton. I need to do a video breaking this down for, for us bank anglers who honestly don't get enough love out there. I feel like there's tons of pros talking and guys in fancy bass boats and hey listen i still enjoy getting out here beating the bank doing it the old simple way walking around catching fish hmm. casting anyway might not be catching fish all the time but there's one dang that dude whacked it oh my gosh not even a big dude but my golly he thumped it out of that wood get out of the wood I'm trying to get down in the wood my gosh look at that dude is not big at all did you see him hit it holy smokes evil intentions all right little dude thanks for eating both of them in the corner of the mouth all right he wouldn't go a pound i don't think but my golly that dude smacked it like he was horribly angry at that little chatterbait my goodness all right still swimming good here let's go back down this way he was right by a little piece of wood. I'm telling y'all, find wood. Mm, catch two fish in a row off of wood. Yes, sir. Guy's not big, but oh gosh, when they get in that wood, get out of the wood, get out of the wood. God, look at him digging, just trying to get in that wood. Two casts in a row. Find wood, throw whatever lure you got to wood. What have I told you before? Find wood, pitch to wood, like honestly, catching fish off of wood. There we go. Another little dude, maybe a pounder. 
probably not but um anyway whatever you've got you know flipping a texas rig in and around wood um is honestly next to frog and probably my favorite way to catch fish but sometimes you just have to experiment you know in spots like this you can't really flip and pitch a you know a heavy texas rig from the bank there's a bunch of wood and stuff laying down forked wood and stuff I mean, you'll just get snagged and snagged and snagged even with a texas rig you'll just get caught up in stuff so sometimes you got to use kind of a, a moving search bait around it see what we can do right now fine wood throw cross eyes weedless chatterbait at wood not regular because regular chatterbait i would have been out of business on second cast this one though you can see i'm hitting wood here bunk 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 watch my rod tip dunk dunk this thing comes over it quite well look at that again because of those two little wires there you have to make sure you check them after you catch fish i don't know how long these wires will last after being you know bent back and forth but right now it's doing fine the double keepers holding that little swim on on i like that kind of color kind of a greenish pumpkin gold oh well, little dude grabbed it okay well apparently this is uh, an episode of day of the dinks this is not a quentin tarantino film just your guy debo out here catching monster sized bass another one on the old weedless cross eyes chatterbait not even a pounder thanks for eating little guy well a few on this maybe this will be the deal went with the same color i was using the other day with kind of a goldish trailer that swim on it's this why you have to check your wires each time look at what that little guy gosh she destroyed him man the hooks on these are sharp as heck i just poked myself right there look at that super sticky sharp hooks i appreciate that let's switch gears back here a little bit water's calmer let's just see if they'll oh that was a carp is that what we've been seeing down here is a bunch of silly carp jumping around which one of these lures will catch the most that'd be cool if we catch something on all of them then you really got to guess which one of these lures will catch the most are you gonna be surprised huge secret surprise catch at the end cops called nope fish caught though oh my gosh look at this Fish and friends, uh, I don't know what to tell you. This is this is par for the course on my channel. We have to catch these biggins. This uh, this is definitely a biggin. How big you ask? Toad, straight up certified toad. Thanks for eating the wacky rig, fella. I just dropped my worm. Where'd my worm go? All right, finally back on a little action here. Not the, uh, not the monster, not the monster of the lake, but that is another one on the old wacky. Little guys, definitely dink an hour with Debo today. All right, there we go, another little guy. Wouldn't even go a pound. Thanks for eating though, fella, off he goes. It's the wacky chatterbait combo today the only thing i really had any luck on no blow ups top water didn't get any sort of bites dragging a worm around throwing the old wacky stick and tossing the old chattering bug hmm there's one right on that fall another monster was this the guy that was over here chasing him oh hey you bigger than I think? Nope, just feisty. Hey, you knocked my worm off too. Jerk. I didn't have an O-ring on it. I just had it sitting there and threw it on. Ow. All right, there we go. Another little pounder. Maybe go a pound. I don't even know. Another fish, dang it. Another fish. We need to get another color of the riot bait. Those, uh, I'm definitely liking those little riot stick baits. The baton, they call it. I'm throwing the money color now. That was, I forget what color that one was. It was like the purplish. This is like the black, uh, black and blue with green pumpkin. One of my favorite colors. I don't think I have any O-rings with me, so. We're just gonna have to put it in the bulbous middle part. Okay, well, a couple little dudes over here. Is there anything? Oh, look at that. Oh, something's chasing bait over there. Look at that.
All right, I threw that one way up under there, hopefully down in the dark where there's a, a bass hiding directly under this dock. There's one. Get off that. Oh no, stuck on the pile. Oh. Well, let's go back up under there. All right, well, not the dock monster we're looking for. That is a fish off the dock. By golly, we found one. All right, another dink. We're really doing the dink thing today. Thanks, Mr. Dinky Bass. All right, well, we made our way back to where the adventure began. See maybe if there's some fish that moved in here now that it's sunny, it's kind of shaded over here. They've got wood to kind of hide on. Maybe some of the other fish that were moving around before have, uh, have moved up into this. We can coax a couple into biting, and maybe not. Maybe there's nothing over here. That's fine too, sometimes it will be like that. But we're gonna try and catch a couple more before we roll out, dang it. Question is, what can we find? Oh, that is a fish, I thought that was a stick. Okay, little dude. Oh, easy, easy. Yo, he is amped up, there we go. He'd probably go a pound, all right. Another little pounder on the day. Thanks, little dude. The chatterbait. The chatterbait seems to be the uh, the victor today. I thought maybe it was going to end up being between a few lures, but it ended up only being between two, the chatterbait and the wacky rig. Chatterbait has definitely gotten a more consistent bite. Bigger fish. Now, big, of course, today is relative. No giants, but bigger fish overall when compared to what I have caught on the wacky rig. Let's just toss the old wacky around and see maybe pick up some fish out here that didn't really want to chase the old chatterbait. Maybe they'll eat the wacky rig though. Or we'll see if I lose it in two casts. That's a, a high probability. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's definitely not what we saw jumping out there. All right, as we, uh, as we were saying earlier, the wacky rig has only been catching the biggest of big fish today. Well, there's stuff out here popping. I don't know what this is, but there we go, another wacky fish. Little dude. Maybe he'd go a quarter of a, a pound. This could be really bad. I'm probably gonna lose my wacky rig if I don't catch something on this cast. Oh, felt like a bite, yep, yep, yep. Got something. Oh, that was not the fish that we saw, too. All right, well, these, uh, these less than large bass really like the wacky rig. Where'd the big dude go that we just saw jump out there? All right, there we go. Another little dude on the wacky rig. Still holding together, dang it. All right, well, we're gonna throw a couple more casts with the old chatterbait. That was the most productive today. Just to see if anything has come back through. Through the wacky, caught some, uh, some monster, monster fish. But uh, yeah, throw a couple more casts with this and I think we're gonna have to call the day. There's one. Feels like best one of the day, probably. He's in some sticks over there. Oh, son of a biscuit. Took me all the way down into those sticks. Work yourself out of there, fish. Best fish of the day and took me directly into a bunch of wood. Gosh, that's why you try to keep him up out of that crap. Feels like he's still on there, I don't know. And I just fell in the water partly there. Felt like a good fish too, but sometimes it's hard to tell when they get down around that wood. All right, well, just broke off there. That stinks. He uh, he got off it. I could see the blade there when I was popping it. So at least he got off there. He doesn't have a chatterbait stuck in his mouth. But that sucks. That was the uh, that was the biggest fish of the day. That's why I tell you all, man. As soon as you hook them around wood, you got to get them up and out of there. You can't mess with them in that wood. Darn. All right, fisher friends, just got home. Overall, not a bad day. We didn't catch any giants. Uh, we did catch some fish, so it beats sitting at home not catching anything. But you know, that's kind of the late summer grind. Um, you know, the bite's gonna pick up here uh, not too long in the fall, but today was just kind of one of those days, summer grind. Now, uh, for me, the best lure of the day was the Z-Man cross eyes chatterbait. That weedless ability on that thing is awesome. Um, of course, the last fish of the day hooked it. It felt like a good one. 
took me down in that wood. He ended up shaking it, uh, and I had to break off. So that stinks. But otherwise, uh, it's pretty darn weedless. I'm liking that, especially for your bank folks out there. Check it out. And of course, I will leave everything linked below, the rod, reel, line, lures, and everything linked to Tax Warehouse. Um, that way you can click on them, check it out. It's uh, super easy for y'all. So the other thing that got bit was the riot baits, uh, that baton, either wacky rigged or I was throwing a Texas rigged. Let's look at both the combos. Okay, first off, I was throwing my chatter bait on this. That's that Pissifin Alloy M, the, the first Pissifin reel that I've used. So far, I actually like that a lot. Um, 17 pound monofilament on this. This is a faster eight, what is it? Eight, four to one. I was using this for buzz baits, but I've got mono on there. And then this is on that cash and rod, also the first cash and rod I've owned. And uh, go figure, this is the chatterbait rod that I picked up. I like the rod a lot. Uh, the grip's definitely growing on me. When I first picked it up, I'm like, eh, I don't know about these, but rod feels pretty sick. Good bend to it, definitely liking that one. As for the spinning combo, y'all have seen this a bunch, that uh, Psycho Stick with the Fuego on it. That's that uh, Riot Baits baton that I ended up Texas rigging on there. So both of those doing work. Like I said, I'll link all this down below for you. So that'll do it for me today, folks. Today's subscribe fish and friend is Mr. Chavez, brother. Thank you so much. I believe you're the one that sent me the cross eyes. If it was somebody else, I'm sorry. I thought it was you. But anyway, thank you for watching and supporting. Uh, I know you sent me the reel, so I appreciate that. Uh, and everybody else that continues to watch, support means a bunch to me. So uh, thank you all for watching. And until next time.